Good evening to everybody. I'm sure that you hear my lovely little friend in the background, my macaw is having a fit. Uh, and he gets, when he hits 120 decibels, it's time to get out of the house. So anyway, I was reading a quick note today and was participating in a post on one of the groups, in, in, on one of the spider groups. And I learned something I didn't know, honestly. And um, I am going to follow my own advice and get my owner's manual out and do some reading tonight. Reread that bad boy. <laughs> Here's why. And honestly, this is the coolest thing to me. Have you ever run the trike or been going down the road? Keep me, myself, I tend to keep all my goodies in the trunk. My wife uses the trunk for her, uh, and forgive me. It's a little cool out tonight. My wife uses the trunk for her um, oxygen, and then we just use our day luggage and whatever for, for the saddlebags. But when I stop for wayside stops and I need a bottle of water, I always end up killing the vehicle. For various reasons, it's just a pain in the ass. You know, it's, a, it's an annoying little thing. Why can't I open the trunk when the motor's running? Thank you, Mr. Trent. You can. Not only can you do that, you can open the seat too. Yes, <laughs> this changes everything. And man, do I feel humble. So here we go. I'm going to demonstrate it whether you believe it or not. And you get to hear my RSS crusher exhaust. I've been calling it the wrong exhaust. Remember, as long as you hold that key down, it will not shut off. Anyway, you turn it, you can open your trunk, you can open your front. Have a great night. Trent, thanks again. I'm telling you, uh, really appreciate you sharing the information. Another good example, learn your operator's manual. Have a great night.